Hey guys, what's going on? Steel here. Doing a video. I went and got the mail about an hour and a half. Well, it was here when I got up. And what I got was my first Snowdy Custom. Um, I really like Mike Snowdy's videos, his work, his personality even. I like that he is himself without caring what everybody else thinks. And obviously his work is off the hook or else Benchmade and Spyderco they wouldn't have done different collabs with him he's you know pretty well recognized for sure and in my opinion I would say he's considered one of the top makers he's a real big <clears throat> proprietor of the chisel grind which I really hope I can get some of his v-ground stuff he had just released a double ground Elite Boss and CPM uh, S35VN. That was a little more. I wasn't able to get it. I wish I would have been able to now, but oh well. So anyway, as you can see, this has got this like off the hook hand rubbed mirror finish. It's got like a little haze that could have been for me stropping. I don't really remember, but it is really nice. It, it just looks great. I like the contrast a lot. <clears throat> and for a hundred bucks, you know, 154 cm, hand ground, hand done, everything's done by hand. It's great. Trying to give you a nice close up. Just looks great. See that chisel grind? I'll do that. We got the handle wrap. <clears throat> this is Glock 550 paracord and then it is impregnated with the, the same resin that apparently Mike used when he used to do custom fishing rods and uh, he says the only way it's coming off is if you cut it off of the handle with like I can't even imagine a knife really doing that easily I think you'd almost need like a saw I think it looks great and for a hundred bucks you know it's not just like a typical paracord wrap so I like it it's comfortable and it even looks classy um, let's see one thing I was going to talk about like I was saying it is chisel ground <clears throat> it's not really um, I don't know how much this kind of chisel grind is used because it's unless I'm wrong and I'm, I'm fairly certain I'm not but if I am feel free, free to correct me it's a chisel grind with a back bevel and uh, I just figured I'd show you what that is like instead of a traditional like uh, an Emerson I think where it's ground flat on one side and then your edge just comes down right so you'd have your chisel like that instead in this case On the flat, you have a, you know, a grind, and then you have your chisel coming up. This darn marker's going dry. That's fantastic. All right, so you can kind of see the difference there. If my lines aren't all grind wavy. So that's how this boss is right here. It has this chisel grind on the prime, you know, on your primary grind side, and then on the back, right here, it's got the edge ground too. And from what I've gathered, this sacrifices a little bit of sharpness, but um, strengthens it a little bit, which makes sense. You got your two edges meeting. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. It's it's a comfortable knife. It's small. Uh, it's got a nice rounded spine. I like that. Um, so yeah, it came pretty sharp. I'm not I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to sharpen it. I don't have any experience with chisel grinds, so... Pretty sure... 
I don't test my knives on printer paper because any knife, a dull knife essentially, one that won't even shave hair can a lot of times still cut switch stuff can still cut printer paper so anyway I think this knife looks great for a hundred dollars you know not bad at all pretty awesome and I'm glad to have some of Mike's work now I man I was such an idiot last year right around blade again uh, Snowdy did like a blowout on some of his stuff he had the compensators which were like uh, 200 bucks I think and then he had his ghetto um, uh, I don't remember now I can't remember what they're called I want to say like ghetto meat cleaver I don't know I don't think that's right but anyway like the brass knuckles with the the uh, blade on the top essentially and those were only a hundred bucks I can't believe I was stupid enough to pass up on those because uh, I don't think they pop up often at all and the one knife i wish i wish i wish i could find by him which i'll probably never be able to find either one is uh the snowy warmonger and the daredevil uh, i love how that daredevil looks but oh well yeah i guess i should have started collecting knives first before some of my other hobbies but it's the way it goes so anyway a couple quick comparisons it's the exact size pretty much as the Kershaw Echelon as far as length pretty much uh, phones going off um, again the small junkyard dog is really close and Kershaw Leak it's you know it's a tiny fixed blade but it's real slim too I can show you So overall, it's like, you know, not any thicker than the leak. So that'd definitely make it nice to just stick on a belt and carry if you carry a uh, fixed blade EDC. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, by the way, I have a couple review videos from the past uh, that I've just never got around to uploading. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to upload those. Um, sorry the last week was really slow on videos. Um, I was just real busy through the week. So, Alright guys, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.